Hey guys, this is Felix at LowParLab.com and in this video I'd like to show you the progress on my Switch Mode project. Uh, many of you have asked about progress and when this will be available and I'm happy to say that the physical construction is complete and I'm now just working on the finishing touches on the firmware to add more functionality. Uh, switch Mode is a wireless light switch controller that's meant to replace traditional mechanical light switches and the purpose behind it is to be able to physically turn off or on a light as you normally would from a switch like this by pressing a physical button or to wirelessly send a message to the switch mode to turn the light on or off and then this consequently means that you can also send messages between switch modes so that you can control uh, this light and also another switch mode or the light attached to another switch mode so you can you can assign different commands between the buttons and sync between them. Now switch mode is made of several different parts. There's this top PCB which hosts up to three buttons and two LEDs for each button which are just for status indication. And then there's the power supply which takes power from the mains and brings it down to 5 volts. And then this power supply also hosts the solid state relay which uh, controls the output and then there's this third part which is the Motino this is the microcontroller and the wireless transceiver which uh, gives the switch mode its wireless capability and also controls the buttons, the lights and the solid state relay. Now like I said before you can solder up to three buttons on the switch mode and up to six LEDs and then you have these plastic acrylic plates which are laser cut and designed to fit the switch mode and you can uh, you know solder one or two or three buttons but uh, I guess once you want more than one button you might as well go with three buttons there's also this back cover plate that's here for protection and uh, this is meant to protect this low voltage circuitry from the uh, ground wire that may be uninsulated in your switch box. So this will be mounted on the switch mode power supply PCB and it's just using plastic spacers and standard M6 screws and this will uh, protect that circuitry from any shorts. Initially I've designed this front cover for switch mode but um, I guess it doesn't really make a lot of sense to use this unless you want to have some kind of custom solution uh, because you can just replace your light switch with switch mode and then keep your original plate to uh, cover the switch mode which uh, fits perfectly. An important feature of uh, switch mode is the ability to wirelessly reprogram it such that once you install it in the wall you don't have to uh, switch the breaker off and take it out of the wall every time you want to update the firmware. So that capability is given by the Motino which is actually the wirelessly reprogrammable uh, microcontroller. Next up I'll show you a bunch of switch modes in action, uh, how you can sync them and how you can interact between them. One really cool feature of switch modes will be the ability to sync between them. So in addition to controlling the light that's physically wired to a switch mode, you can also send a message to other switch modes to tell them to turn their lights on or off. And obviously when you have more than one button, you can use those other buttons for setting up uh, other light scenes or turning off multiple lights or turning on multiple lights. Things like uh, when you go to sleep, you want to turn off all the lights in the house and turn uh, on uh, your garage lights or your patio lights and things like that. Okay, so I want to synchronize between these two switch modes such that when I turn off this switch mode, I also want this switch mode to turn off. For that purpose, I have to press the button for three seconds and that'll put the switch mode in learn mode and then I have to go to the other one and press that button for three seconds and that'll put this one in sync mode and at that moment it'll learn from this other switch mode what its current mode is and what button was pressed. 
So now this switch mode will tell this switch mode to turn off whenever it flips from on to off. So right now it's off, so it won't do anything. It'll still tell it to turn off, but this switch mode is already off, so nothing happens. Now if I put this switch mode in on mode, and I go to on, now when I transition to off, this switch mode will also turn off. Now if I want this switch mode to turn on whenever I turn this one on, I have to uh, do this process all over again because you can set up some lights to turn off only when there's a transition from on to off or from off to on. So I want to put this switch mode in on mode, also this one in on mode, then put this one in sync mode. Now put this one in sync mode as well. So now whenever I turn this on, the other switch mode also turns on and whenever I switch this off, this other switch mode also turns off. Alright, so I went ahead and set up a third switch mode which is actually wired directly to mains and it controls two light bulbs and I synchronized it to this main switch mode which will control that one as well as this one. So when I press this button here, it turns the light on and also tells this switch mode to turn on and when I switch it off, both of the other switch modes will also turn off. Here's that switch mode that controls the two uh, CFL bulbs and I'm going to go ahead and press the button on the main switch mode and that turns the light on and pressing it again turns it back off. Notice the status LED goes from red to green and then back to red. So this demonstrates that you can use switch modes to synchronize between them or just control an individual light and you can set up light scenes um, to turn on or off multiple lights from a single one or from or just interact between them however you want and I think switch mode will allow you to have a lot of flexibility as far as how you control your lights uh, as part of your home automation system. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can check my blog at lowpowerlab.com for future updates on this product and also you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for future video updates.